What's going on guys, Bow here back with some Legends of War Midgard. So let's get into this, I am playing this on Android if you guys are wondering. And they kind of just throw you into the prologue as you can see here. I haven't actually picked anything. Um, it does look like you're just going to be moving your troops. This one, it is a little bit different because you can actually move the troops how you actually want them to as you can see. However you draw the line, which in my case wasn't that great, but uh, however you draw it, that's actually where they move. You do have a charge button, which is basically to just run out enemies. And currently we only have four characters. As you can see, there is a rage scout. I should have probably waited one more. But uh, the rage meter is on the side. You can see it going up right now. I'm at six, so I could actually use the skills of all my characters, but I wanted to see if I can actually do it without. Plus, they're probably going to tell us to use it a little bit later. Not too sure why the other unit is just staying up there at the top. Yeah, one of our units was just standing there, so I guess after it kills them, you would have to actually tell it to go towards the other one? Maybe? I don't know. That was a little bit different, but uh, we did rank up to level 2. We still haven't actually picked a name or anything like that. Gives us a little bit of tips. I really wish there was actually something besides the black screen in the background. Just throw up a random picture of the game or something like that. Um... <laughs> Those were the terms of service, which is interesting, and we're just going to go with the short name. There we go. We're just going to put that, because you only can have up to 12 characters. Um, a code. I don't actually have one. And I guess this is going to be our base. We do have ore and gold up at the top. We are going to be using ore. It looks like ore and gold to actually be making stuff. Currently making a catapult. Uh, we do have gems as well. Shield going to be lasting for a day and two builders, it looks like. So, let's see how this actually plays out. It does look like we do have a wait timer on most of the stuff, so I'm guessing that stuff is going to get pretty, pretty crazy later on, especially with uh, the higher levels. It does look like it wants us to summon something. So we've already burned through 26 of the 30 that they've given us, but I guess that's why they gave it to you in the first place. There we go, we only got a 3 star, we did get a rare, not too sure if everyone gets the same character. Because they're sort of making us go through a tutorial basically to show us how to play the game, so I don't know if everyone's going to get the same one. We are changing our current one, which was a 1 star, for a 3 star and gaining a ton of stuff. You did not notice there is cost to these 25, 15, 10, and 10. So, yeah, you do have a cost. Uh, I didn't actually see a overall cost, but I'm guessing there is one. You probably had to have to go into... Yeah, I don't actually see one, but I'm pretty sure there is one because they wouldn't have the cost amount if there wasn't actually a cap. So, we'll see how that actually works out. There are other spaces as well, so there are four of them that are locked. Not too sure if those are for other units or your tag. Maybe, I don't know what else you could put in there. We do have the catapult up in the back. And instead of actually drawing in lines on this one, I just push the charge button, which basically, I guess they just run at whoever's closest. That's what it looked like to me. They just ran straight forward until uh, it actually went into the enemy. Uh, what is going on here? I don't know. It's not letting me click loading. Yeah, I mean, it's working. I can see the catapult to the side. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I just had to, like, click off screen and then back on, and it worked perfectly fine. Not too sure what's up with that. But uh, we do have the catapult, so I guess it wants us to attack the castle. I'm guessing that's what it wanted us to attack. Maybe you could attack the troops as well. Probably a better idea to attack the troops, but you don't know how far it's going to actually go. And there's actual skills, so there's the first skill. I didn't actually move that. I should actually pick where these things go. But uh, I don't really think it matters because it doesn't seem... Yeah, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. Or at least those two didn't. Let's see if this one... Well, that one's probably going to kill him because it's already almost dead. But... Yeah, they don't seem to be doing that much damage. Let's actually do the catapult again. I actually hit that... Or it sort of looked like I hit that unit. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm not too sure. And I should have uh, moved that up a little bit, my bad, to aim at the towers. And we are getting hit from the actual castle. I don't think the towers are actually doing anything, but it does look like you have to take those down as well. Yeah, the skills don't seem that strong. What's up with the loading again? I'm not too sure what's going on with that. But yeah, if you did not notice, the 
Skills don't seem to do that much damage, so probably gonna have to get those up at some point. Well, it's already dead. That was kind of a waste. Alright, we're just gonna attack the castle. We're gonna wait for one of our skills to refresh. The first one that actually refreshes is, I guess, this one. Oh, that was kind of, uh, I kind of <laughs> should have uh, placed that a little bit better. A little bit harder when I'm actually using the mouse. And we only got a four star out of five, which is perfectly fine. I can go back and get the other ones later. I kind of want to get to everything else first. They do have tips. Really wish there was something in the background. Maybe, um, I don't know, a loading screen of some sort besides a black screen and a tip. But uh, we do have the raids, which I guess sir yeah i think these are other people actually yeah so those are against other people there was the missions as well and there was something else which i didn't actually get a read and it does look like we're going to be defending oh okay so this is our defense if we actually get attacked which i don't know what a good formation is you can actually move the trees as well i don't know how much that actually helps Maybe you can line them up on one side, maybe they block a route so they have to come in one way, or maybe they can just run right through it, who knows. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Maybe I'll uh, mess with that a little bit later. For now, we're only barely level, what, two, three? I don't even know what level we are at this point. And it does look like it wants us to fuse, so we're just going to be putting in the one stars that we have. Actually, only two of the three that we have. And this is going to get us up to plus one. I don't know what it actually gives us. Oh, okay, so it goes up a level. Okay, that works. So it does uh, give us a level, which gave us a little bit of stats. Honestly, it didn't really give us that much. Uh, more HP, more attack, a little bit of defense. I don't know how the defense goes. I guess that's the max one you can actually get right there which overall looks a lot better than what I have, so maybe we'll try to go for that. Okay, the other one was an event tab. Yeah, there's not too much uh, going on on this page. There are events which you can actually get into. I would recommend if you're barely starting off, just go through the missions, get through all the basic stuff, start building your town or whatever they actually let you build because I'm not sure if there's a cap on any of this stuff. But here's the town. There's a ton of spots to build. Uh, it does look like you have to build a ton of stuff. And we do have some vouchers and some gifts and stuff like that, so we're going to get into it. Um, they do have some announcements. Um, you can read over those if you want to. Let's see, how do you use the... I don't see a bag, so how do we use the vouchers? We do have a starter pack at 5 bucks, and then we do have crystals. Oh, they're actually called crystals. I was calling them gems, but uh, we do have crystals if you do feel like purchasing them of course you do get them from just completing missions and there are the five star summoning that we actually got we actually have two of them we have a five star and a six star for free basically which is really nice not too sure actually why we got those maybe because it's maybe because we pre-registered oh i don't actually i have no idea why i got those but uh, there is that and then here is the six star which is probably not that easy to get so Let's hope for a good one. The first one we got was pretty good. There it is. SS. I think that is the highest rated character that you can actually get. I don't think there's a 7 star. And then we also have points that you can actually use, but currently we don't really have anything, so not going to worry about that too much. Uh, you can actually manage, evolve, sell. You can do all that stuff right here. I'm actually looking for a tab where... Okay, so there's the cost. The cost is going to be 50 of 60. I didn't actually see how much those things cost us. Do I have... What I get? The under... Dictionary or is it this one? Okay, it's right here. I actually want to see how much these things cost. Get info... Uh, 47. So that's basically all of my cost right there. So yeah. Not going to be able to put that on. And that one's 40. Yeah, we're not going to be able to use either one of those until we're probably a lot higher level. I'm not too sure how the cost goes up in this game. Probably hitting certain points like level 5 and so on and so forth, but uh, it looks like we're going to stick with the two 1 stars and the 2 and 3 stars, so 
that kind of sucks. I could actually take them all off and just throw on the uh, five or six star, but I don't think that's the best option. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll go look at their stats a little bit later. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it's perfectly fine. I do, however, want to level up those other two later to see how good they actually are. See, so you can actually move them. Okay. This would be a lot easier if I was on a phone because they're a little bit easier to control. I really wish there was a grab all button you can just click and uh, point it. Let's try doing it in the middle. I don't know if this is going to affect any of them. Uh, it seemed to do a little bit of damage to a few of them, but overall it wasn't actually that much different. So, yeah, I don't know if it's better just to hit the enemies or try to hit as many as possible. Because it doesn't really seem to do that much damage. Maybe it is, maybe I'm just not seeing it as much. That one I couldn't actually see because the characters are coming at each other, so. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Uh, let's try this one. We're going to hit it straight on. And if it moves a little... No, I can't even see that one either. So I guess it does do more damage if you directly hit them. Well, with that skill. The other skills, they kind of uh, line them out, so... All the skills are a little bit different. And we got a 4 star on that as well. Uh, I guess something died. I'm not too sure what happened there, but... There it is, rank 3. We do get 5 crystals for completing the area. And yeah, you can just continue completing the area. Save up crystals, buy whatever you're looking for. They do have login bonuses. You're going to keep unlocking stuff as you go on, of course. And... Alright, I had to get that out of the way. That was, uh... I don't know what it wanted us to go do there, but, uh... Yeah, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, I would recommend trying to build up your base earlier on, because you do only have a shield for a day. So you do want to try to build it up as fast as possible, because then you're going to be getting attacked for your resources and make sure you try to get some pretty good units. Um, I'm not too sure, I'm already rank 3 and we still have the same cost. So I don't know how that actually goes up but I'll continue to try to play and see if it actually goes up a little bit later. But yeah, let me know what you think of the game. If you guys do have any other games you want me to play, I will be playing a ton of them. So message me, leave in the comments or just contact me somehow and I will try to get to them. But thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.